Welcome back. We're joined now by Mike Wynn, here to update us on the upcoming Sin Law Authors Club meeting. Mike, welcome to the show. Oh, always good to be here. Thanks. Always glad to have Thanks you. Thanks for having you on. <laughs> having me on. Absolutely. So, this, this month's Sin Law Authors Club meeting, what's happening? Well, this Thursday night, we have, actually, I wish I could take credit for this, but we have a, an author who is so appropriate for Halloween. It's Sherry Clare. She is considered the number one author in the state of Louisiana regarded regarding haunted and ghost themes. She's coming third. She's flying in from Atlanta, Georgia, just to be with the people of Alexandria and Pineville. Uh, Thursday night at West Side, 6 p.m. She's going to talk about her books. She has a great series of books on paranormal investigation with her mystery sleuth called Viola uh, Valentine. A great series. Uh, talks all about ghosts in Louisiana and hauntings. But she actually has a bunch of other series of books. I think she has like 40 or 50 books out. Well, another series on Acadian romance from 200, 300 years ago. She has a more recent book, b series of books on uh, Ac Acadian romance re regarding college students and things like that. She's an award winner. Uh, just quite an amazing lady. She's written a lot of history books, including Haunted Louisiana, and she's also written the history of Forest Hill, Louisiana. So she's a multi-talented lady. Does she have ties to Louisiana? Yes, yeah, she was born in Lafayette. She spent a lot of time here in central Louisiana, and um, she, she, she can, she's actually coming home and visiting friends, and we we're very fortunate to have her Thursday night. Absolutely, so she's coming just in time for Halloween. What is her message going to be? What is she going to be telling the people that come to the meeting? She's going to tell people that anyone can be an author. Anyone can be a good author. There's, uh, everybody has at least one book in them, whether it's even an autobiography or whether you want to write something for your children, grandchildren. Anyone can be an author. And you don't have to be an author to attend Thursday night. Uh, there's no membership fee or, or admission fee or anything. Everybody's invited to hear a great author. And Sherry just has so much to talk about. And I can't wait because I, I've heard that she's just a fabulous talker. In fact, she's also, among everything else, a travel and food writer. She writes for Southern Living. She writes for all sorts of magazines. She is very well known throughout New e uh, the East as well as California and everywhere else. So we are very much privileged to have her th for this one-time visit uh, coming home, I guess you could say. Absolutely, and you were on the show earlier last week, and there was a, another Sin Law Authors Club meeting. Didn't you say it was happening it was, somewhere else? Well, we, we had it at LSUA. Okay. It was Rebecca Wells gotcha. last Thursday night. And quite frankly, I was told by the 40 people who, were, who attended, it was very, very moving. Rebecca meeting. talked about her roots being born and raised in Alexandria, graduate of Al Ash from 1971. We were very privileged to have her because she doesn't really give talks anymore. And um, we've had some great authors. We've had two Pulitzer Prize winners this year. Uh, next month, we have Peter Wolf, who's going to talk about his new biography of Godshaw from New Orleans. We have a, a, a poetress in January. We have Secretary of State and former federal inmate Jim Brown talking <laughs> about his <laughs> books and his publishing company in February. But we can help anybody become an author. Yeah. Come and visit us Thursday night at Westside Regional Library in Provine Place, okay. 6 p.m. We'd love to have everybody. Yep. First come, first serve. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.